Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, October 26th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday at 1030 a.m. for Sanctuary Worship. My scripture today is from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Strive for peace with everyone and for holiness without which no one will see the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. You've heard in the scriptures about the peace of God's kingdom when the lion will lay down with the lamb. But let me tell you a story that I saw and I even saw the video. There was a family that raised a deer after the deer's mama was hit by a car. And as they raised her, they were careful to follow all the advice of the naturalists that helped them because they wanted to return the deer to the wild as soon as possible and they didn't want to compromise the deer's ability to thrive. So they did everything right. They raised this deer till it was strong enough to go out on its own and of course the deer did. And that could have been the end of the story. Except to their surprise, several months later, the deer came back with her babies. And she came back to play with the family dog who had become her best friend as she was raised by the family. And all of the family watched in amazement as the deer cleaned the dog with her tongue just like she cleaned her babies and the dog played with the little babies and played with the mama deer and they had a wonderful time and then after a day or so the deer took her babies back into the woods perhaps that could have been the end of it no every year she brings her new little babies to meet the dog and the family. Now, this is an unusual story, but it reminds us that if natural enemies such as dogs and deer can somehow find a way to live together, even under unusual circumstances, I admit, doesn't that remind us that we who are so closely related to all of our brothers and sisters. We who are virtually identical in our yearnings and our desires and our thirst for life as any of our brothers and sisters across the globe, cannot we find a way to live in peace? And if that's not possible, we can still, as Christians, be beacons of light, showing peace, because, as the scriptures remind us, if people don't see peace in our lives, how will they see the Lord? Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you would encourage us to find ways beyond conflict, war, aggression, and our selfishness and desire to acquire. We pray that we would find a new peace in your holy name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.